going on guys we are back with another episode of the cooking challenge part four i believe part four so this time we have a spaghetti squash so um i'm going to i, I actually read up a little bit on this one because i've never actually had spaghetti squash um apparently it's very good by itself so I'm not going to do much to it, but what I'm going to do is make a, like you ever have like a bowl from like Chipotle or Salsa Fresca or Moe's or whatever, I'm going to do that, but like a vegetarian kind of thing going on there with the, the squash and all that, but without the rice, no rice. The spaghetti squash is going to act as the rice. I'm also going to throw in bacon because I like bacon. And I think that's gonna kind of go well with what we're doing here, but uh, yeah. So, so basically, what I have going on here, I have my board. I'm gonna use pickled onions, one egg, cucumber, my spaghetti squash, and bacon. So. First thing I'm going to do is actually preheat the oven to, I believe, 400. 400, all right? Yeah. So, the spaghetti squash is actually going to take a while to cook. So, I'll get you guys a little higher there. Yeah. So, um,. This is going to take a little while to cook, so I'm going to do this first, and then I'm going to prepare all that stuff. So what I'm going to do is just cut it long way, all the way around. Oh, fucked up already. Nice. Whoa! That took like five minutes, because I kind of had to figure that shit out. But uh, that's what the inside looks like. You got uh, like the middle, like seeds and all that. So what we're gonna do with that is actually take a spoon. Of course, I don't have a spoon. So I'm gonna use a knife. I'm just gonna go around and uh, scoop all the seeds out. So now all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, a little salt, a little bit of pepper. I'm just gonna take that. Lightly sprinkle it over the top of the squash. One more. Um, with this squash, apparently it uh, dries out quickly. And when it dries out, it's not very appetizing, apparently. So I'm not going to do too much to it. That's all I'm really going to do. Uh, one last thing I'm going to do is add a teensy little bit of brown sugar. So this is kind of something uh, my mom does with uh, other types of squash. And it comes out pretty good. So I'm going to put it on this and just... Yeah, I'm not going to do too much, but that's all it looks like. That's all I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna get a, uh, get one of these. I'll put some aluminum foil on it and into the oven, 400 degrees. I have a preset, uh, I have a preset already. Um, it's been good for like five minutes now. I'm gonna put this on 10 foil, face side down for 40 minutes. Before you put it in, you actually wanna poke a few holes in it. So I'm actually just gonna go one. Two, three, four, five, and six. I'm gonna have six holes. Oh, good. I'm going to peel and cut up a little bit of cucumber. Get a paper plate, 
And I'm just gonna throw these on the side and let them sit until it's done. I got my bacon. Um, I've had these in the refrigerator because I've been eating bacon a lot. So I'm gonna defrost it, but uh, if you want to, you can. Um, I'm gonna take about four slices, cut in half already, so not too much. And all I'm gonna do is cut it in half. So if you have a full piece of bacon, I would cut it into quarters. In this case, I'm just cutting mine in half. That's right, I have one, two, three, four, I have eight slices of bacon about two inches long. And I'm going to throw those in a pan with olive oil once the squash gets to about 10 minutes. Before I throw it in the pan, I'm going to take the leftover maple brown sugar. I'm just going to lightly coat the bacon. Okay, so we are now at 10 minutes to go. Uh, I have the pan heated up already. Um, so I'm just, I just realized I put the wrong burner on. So that's always nice. Never mind, erase that. The pan's not hot. So uh, I'm gonna let it heat up for about two minutes. Then I'm going to throw the bacon on uh, maple side down first. And then um, I'm just gonna kind of let it sit, let the fat kind of render out. And um, probably takes about two minutes each side for the bacon, I'd say. Um, I'm gonna pull them off. So once the squash is done, it's going to be a lot more, it's going to be soft. Right yeah. Um, so I'm going to take a fork and shred the insides almost like spaghetti. Oh my god, that's hot. I didn't do the prettiest job, but as you can see, they kind of look like uh, small noodles or something like that. Which is why they call it a spaghetti squash, I guess. So uh, now what I'm going to do is scoop up the insides and I'll throw it into this bowl. So uh, once we have that, I'm actually going to Put that in the refrigerator for about three minutes, let it cool down. All right, so now we have let the spaghetti squash chill for a little bit. Still got a little bit of heat going, so that's okay. Take my cucumber, just gonna spread that out, gonna make it look nice. Place my bacon right up against that. And take my Pickled onions, highly recommend you make these at home. There's a lot of easy recipes online. It's pretty cool. So uh, I'm gonna pick a few of these out. So we got the red onions. And lastly, but not least, I'm gonna take an egg. One egg, I just fried it in the uh, same As the there you have it. Spaghetti squash is underneath, as you can see there. Make that look a little better. Let me drag it towards the center. And there you go. That is your spaghetti squash uh, bowl. You can make it vegetarian. Just leave out the bacon and all that. Um, I'm gonna try it now. You guys know what I think of it. I'm only gonna try the spaghetti squash because I know I like everything else.
That's not bad. Um, I do think I should have added a little bit more sugar to it, brown sugar, um, because it didn't really get as much sweetness as I wanted. Maybe a little butter next time. But, um, <coughs> it's got a little bit of spice in there, too. Not too sure what that was from, but I'm going to give that a 8.5. Definitely. <coughs> I'm de Ooh. It's in the back of my throat now. Spice. I don't know where that's from. <coughs> oh. My eyes are watering up now, too. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to give that an 8.5. I'm definitely going to gonna use the other half oh um i want to go dig in hope you guys enjoyed that um stay tuned for next week catch you all next time